hello there fools and welcome back to the void today i have returned to give you the most miserable gaming experience of my entire life a few days ago as of recording this intro i played the game the murder of sonic the hedgehog a funny little april fools visual novel game about you guessed it the murder of sonic the hedgehog i was not expecting anything more than a fun little visual novel game featuring the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. It seemed like a fun premise. You know, I've played quite a few visual novel games on stream. I'm playing Phoenix Wright, the trilogy right now. Go check that out because I'm not going to make those into videos because I am terrible at editing visual novels. But that is besides the point because this one featured a very dumb mechanic where you would walk through a Sonic the Hedgehog kind of mini game and collect rings. Now this doesn't seem so bad and for a while it was fairly easy but oh my goodness I am not going to explain what happened near the end you can see it for yourself but this video will be mainly focused on just funny things because as I said I can't edit visual novel videos very well so if you do want to watch the full thing it will be in the link in the description but this will mainly be fo the focused fuck but this will mainly be focused on fuck but this will mainly be focused on just the funny little things that happened and then also the little mini game i hope that you enjoy it and i'll see you in another 10 months with my next video oh golly who's this you made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule is this main character is this me is this me so far so good for my first day on the job Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Sinja. That's my name. <laughs> That's me. Sinja. Did I spell that right? No. I'll just sign my name here. Sinjigo. There we go. That's my name. M -m 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 Mr. Conductor, sir. How, how were you doing this morning? Ho ho ho. Quite alright myself. Though feeling a little bittersweet. Is that because you're a sweetie? Trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? Alas, today is my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. I can open the inventory any time to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. Menu, the Mirage Express dining menu. It features chili dog, instant ramen and chicken, cordon, bleh. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to come out and say it, I'm not that big a fan of Sonic. I've never played a Sonic game, I've never, well I have, I've never finished a level in a Sonic game. So I'm, I'm a fraud. <laughs> I only played Sonic Colors, I completely forgot about Sonic Colors, I did play Sonic Colors, that is, I did. I did, I remember that. This train is exclusively used for events, it's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview, what's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do what to do. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our playing guests are well taken care of. Understood? I'll make you proud that I can't afford to lose this job. Doors to Marat the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard. Oh my god, it's the pansexual train. Oh golly, I just realized I'm gonna have to do impressions of these characters. <laughs> oh golly. <laughs> wow, this train's incredible. What fascinating tech. I don't know this character. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. Why are there so many characters at once? Oh golly. Get a hold of yourself, Sinjigo. You're sweating through your uniform. Oh golly. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to be alive at any point. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> hey pal, gonna get one of those chili dogs? Uh, of course, sir. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Sinjigo, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Uh, okay, got it. Oh my god, there's even more. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Wait a second. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? 
Hehe, <laughs> why certainly. Before we move along for for you, miss. Oh, oh, what is a key? Oh, how fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have uh, misplaced my ticket. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Uh, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Huh. <laughs> so I'm guessing that we're looking for this dude's ticket. Oh. Uh, yeah, what up? Find anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. Sinjigo, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? Oh, gee. This one. Oh my god, I'm presenting evidence. This is this attorney. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's rules for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? <laughs> I feel like I've made him way too British. <laughs> for how casual he's talking. You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely. You can count on me. Thank you for following the outfit outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your law cards as well. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Wait, does Sonic actually die? I'm curious, because I feel like it's that's going to be the twist, is that Sonic's actually dead. Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain should go. Would go, even. <laughs> Hills, you're the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Nichols, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry. Both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. <laughs> hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio the poet. Both found in the library. Here in that SPO, we get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow's the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Uh, no, please repeat yourself. Alright, let me go over. Oh, heck. <laughs> That's my bad. I'll admit it. That, that, that one's my bad. <laughs> yes, I got it. Please, don't say anything else. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can. Find clues and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle, and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations. Ah, this is so exciting. The mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. I know, it's kind of so, so, so scary. I'll admit, I'm nervous too. Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. What do you think everyone's doing? Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the law cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky... With a, with a flicky, I'm guessing that's a creature in Sonic, that decided to join the evil Buck Tregman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this kinda sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Oh! oh. The train started moving. It hits so fast, grab onto something. What is going on? Ah, uh, I'm slipping. Hold on. I can't. Oh, oh! No! Oh golly, Kazuma. Oh gee. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're both awake! Yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone- <laughs> wow, how exhilarating! That was awesome! We should go check on the others. Sinjigo, could you get the door? Of course! Oh! Hmm, it seems the door's blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer! Uh, let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. What the fuck, Abby? I know Amy. She's hiding something. Uh huh? 
I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's get the clues on why Amy's acting this way, interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence, and interrogate. Got it. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. What's this? A rod? <coughs> the tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Check the bin. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this? Kid. The shelf blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey, Sinjigo, look closely at this. Oh golly, I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Yo, what up? What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out? On a train? <laughs> I'll keep looking. Dodge interrogation. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. Holy heck, this is this attorney. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I don't think you were sitting idly while Sinjiga and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Oh, oh gee, evidence. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? The rod, I think. I'm not quite sure this will convince Amy, let's give it another try. What if this proves Amy attempted to leave the closet? It was the crack on the shelf! What? Some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have, you have no argument here. You're grasping. Ooh, okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself. Uh, well, you see, I, uh, well, uh, no, I'm not needing proof of your claims. Oh golly, I can't just accuse people with no evidence? Oh heck. Hmm, when I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. Alright, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow this train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Think. What the hell? This... What is... Yup, w... W-H-D or arrow keys space. I've pressed everything. There we go, S was being weird. I love collecting rings, uh huh? Oh golly, 32 out of 20? I'm a big brain genius. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? Huh? Oh, well, I... I believe someone's responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? The stick! What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Oh my god, every time that we need to reach a conclusion, we're gonna- we're gonna do this. There's no way that I can think for myself. I need to think, what would Sonic do? Oh golly, oh golly, I'm losing rings! Oh, oh heck, not enough rings, oh golly. <laughs> I'm Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say, a hammer. Ugh! This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. Ugh. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Ugh. Ugh. Epic. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective, and I double as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. 
Oh my god. Oh Jesus, she has a hammer. Oh, oh golly. We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Oh golly. Oh gee. Wait, is that... Oh no, it's Sonic! It can't be! Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! Looks like the game has begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait! I want to figure out who did this too! Wait for me! What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. <laughs> that was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic's in the meme pause. Heck yeah. <laughs> we love we love a good actor. Heck yeah, Sonic. Sonic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just need to <laughs> get some chili dogs. Sonic? Sonic! Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery? Or is this serious? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. That's why I leave their care to you, Sinjigo, my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. Ha 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 ha. Oh gee, I guess I'm just not going to tell them. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails to get and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Oh, heck yeah. Saloon car? Yo, that's epic. Whoa, look at this place. Amy, Amy, are you here? Hey, Tails, where are you? Sinjigo, I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. Seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Um, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually her? <laughs> He's laughing. I hate Sonic. The train rules say I gotta stay and watch after everyone. You just wanna hang out with me, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I was ever great at reading people but me. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum though, just know it's because... Uh, where's my law card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Oh god! Oh, oh golly! Ye varmints! What are ye all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. We were wondering if you could tell us what you're up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone! Sinjigo, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up, was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate the clues and then interrogate. Yo, what up, Knuckles? Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. I also noticed that this had blood on it earlier, but I'm a dumbass. So I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, oh yeah, blood. Nice. But that is, that is kind of odd. Why is there blood on that, actually? It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> I think Tails is ignoring me. Sinjigo, this is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. Sinjigo, this one has lipstick on the rim. It's lipstick. That makes a lot more sense. That's not Knuckles' colour at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. Huh, that's funny. The door's locked tight. We can't go any further. I wonder how Amy- what do you mean it's locked tight? It's a gate. Go- go under it. Go under it. Go under it. It's a gate. You are literally three foot tall. Go under it. Bruh. Like, what the hell? What- 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 what are you saying? I wonder how Amy was able to leave then. Good point. When were- when were those doors locked? And how long were they locked for? We'll have to keep this in mind. Clearly we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from... punches? Who could have done that? What are you two looking at me for? Smashed arcade. Knuckles, Sinjigo and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off, you're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Ugh. It is? We have evidence too. We do? 
Sinjiga, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Nurkos during the time Sonic was murdered? The... Oh wait, it might be... The fact that someone was here. This one! Oh wait, no, it's the arcade, because he was punching it. Yeah. Hang chase, Sinjiga. Let's try again. What could have been distracting Knuckles? I'm sorry. The crate machine? Ha! <laughs> what makes you think I touched it? Think! Huh? <laughs> Chili dogs! Oh golly, when I actually have to jump over stuff, it's scary! Oh heck. Oh golly, I died. Alright, wait, no. We have enough, we have enough. Just don't take risks. Awesome. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... Your hair was found at this scene. Super Monkey Ball's your favorite game. What happens do you have that the damages are punches? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine. But why? I needed a punching bag, and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you? Hang on it, Sinji. Sinjigo, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! What? I'm distracting him with logic and reasoning? Oh my god. There's so much everything, what the hell? Alright, I'm epic, I'm epic, I'm the coolest. Oh, I'm, I'm the coolest egg, Benedict! Oh, heck. I'm the coolest, I'm... I'm the... Oh, heck, there's so much! Oh, there wasn't a jumper thing there. Oh. Ah, uh, heck, I need ten more. This is a nightmare. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in real life. Oh, oh, no, I had enough! Oh, thank god. Oh my god, please never make me do that again, even though that's like the main component of this game. But don't ever do it again. The arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Oh, he lost to Vector. Oof. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Uh. The picture's beginning to be painted here. He completed, you competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score, and Vector beat you. Uh. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. You're guessing. What's your proof? Where's your evidence? Oh my god, I'm turning into Walter White. Bro, I'm turning into... 90% purity, Sinjigo. Victor is a common name. Prove to me he was here. Now, Jesse. Oh no, not again. <laughs> oh golly. That one was actually a lot easier. <laughs> I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Well, you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks, playing arcade. It's, uh, um, it, uh, it's not like, it's not, I, I wasn't. Uh, don't, don't tell Amy. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour, wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what of the cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. Jesse. Huh? It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game and left. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our questions. Actually, that's not everything, is it Knuckles? Huh? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name in that high score list doesn't make sense. Sinjigo, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list? What is Tails talking about? There was one that was not Ultim. Yeah, because all the rest are just like random foods, but then there's Ultim. All the other names have a food theme, but this one. 
who here goes by Ultim. You may not know Sinjiga, but there is someone here that goes by the title. The ultimate life bomb. Oh my god, it's... I'm the coolest. <laughs> <laughs> There's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him, so no one else after locking the door. What about Amy? What? That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. She did have the key. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. It's a gate! How is it- Uh, okay. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we can find things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Go forever, KO'd Sonic and Earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. Ready to mosey down to the next car? <laughs> no way, dang nabbit. You've got it, partner. P -p partner Onwards. L -l -l library car. <laughs> I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already, before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. It's just like Knuckles, heck. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm a... Uh, just making sure go off and go here to ask if anyone's hungry. Starved, I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right about now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. Sir, please never say that again in your lifetime. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry, a resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Uh, sure, um... Teardrops in the spring, can you hear me sing? La 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 la, dee 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 dee, I did it the great detective way. Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm uh, satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, and Shadow and Sonic all passed through this library car. Where Amy told me NSPO to stay. I probably picked a book off the shelf. I probably picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. I interrupted you because that was my line. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Well, it's Rouge. We happened to see our lipstick stand on the cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then into the library car and look unlocked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him, then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, when Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car, who was stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy a arrived, asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. <laughs> There's always some- something's always hidden in the trash, let's check there! I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Uh, I really thought there'd be something there. Sinjiga! Are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? N no N no I I'm alright. I'm sure uh, I'm I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Um yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah okay, these trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. Sinjiko, look at this. There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but... 
Every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order but this one. <clears throat> it's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the chain we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Something I'm missing. The door, it's locked. What? Crazy. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the Celine car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on the way out. Well, this one at least. Looks like a lock. Wait, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it looks like a curtain. There's got to be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Can I take your order? Oh yes, please, I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. Then why would you show the menu to me? Come on, Sinjigo, why would you tease him like that? And here I thought I could trust you. You've made a fool of me. Look, Sinjigo, you've made him a fool. Come on, Sinjigo, smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I smooth things over, but at what cost? Awesome. <laughs> so, the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I won't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Sinjigo and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espia really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if need- Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we're instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered from Knuckles. Then, that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library car, found something, and left. He said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Huh? Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. If you want to talk, I have a hunch on what book and what book that might be. Sinjigo, could you help me out? Alright, Sinjigo. What book do we think Espio may have been reading? Probably this. This one says it's the only book that we have. What argument could you possibly have to support this? Think. Thanks, Tails. I'll think. Or oh, heck, 40. And it's turned wider. What the heck is that? Oh my god. Wait, I have... I have the rings I need. Oh, thank god. <laughs> there are books scattered around the floor of a shelf. The remaining books in the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual. Meaning someone at the very least picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trends are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Sinjigo, if you don't mind. Uh, could you ask Espia some questions about the manual? Just go up to a page and ask where. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the trains spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and the messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passage and safety. Seems like Espio asked that question. Sinjigo, hit him with another one. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged with a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, Sinjigo. Let's see if Espio can go 3 for 3 What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this, the train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? No! I hate to say it, but no. What? Haha, <laughs> just, just goofing. You passed. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel practical, specific to be guesses. I bit my tongue. <laughs> and you both have the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate despite being the truth. Huh? Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we could- Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? 
Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. We have evidence to back it up. Version Shadow being here. Sinjiga? I'll try the lock. Shadow's lock? Please, pray tell. What this has to do with anything? We're up, Sinjiga. Let's get our argument together. Oh, golly. I forgot it's four now. I only got one coin. I keep forgetting about the jump. Oh nice, we got 61. That's epic. Epic moment? Epic moment. Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. <laughs> what the hell, Vector? Don't ever say that again. Please just never talk again, Vector. Please. For, for me. Espia said he saw Shadow into the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espia was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. Huh. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car, so there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espia didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Ah, uh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I, you, you see, I can sense Espia's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors, and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Sinjigo. My dear fellows. One that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tells definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading? Or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Defend Espio or Jane, Jane Tales. Um, honestly... Back when I used to read, I, I did sometimes just actually like completely zone out. Like, I could not like hear or see anything. I was just completely engrossed in it. So I do kind of believe this a little bit. But maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> Tails! Huh? We have a piece of evidence that can answer all our problems. Alright, my fellow associate. Lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows that Shadow and Espia couldn't have seen one another? It's the book! Maybe it's this? Alright, now let's get my thoughts in order. Oh heck. I pressed it. I, I swear. I swear. No, I felt so close. Let me give it another go. I kind of fumbled last time. Alright, just focus on not losing rings. Awesome. See the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down the straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll have to find out where exactly in the map you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Here. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. Uh, that's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because a bookcase is in the way. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you for both answering all our questions. W we did it! Another pair of alibis validated. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Well, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it up when, when she passed through earlier. And that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espia. Okay, the investigation continues. 
Oh hell yeah, let's gamble! Let's heckin' go! Yes! Oh, I love it here already. Rage, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every chain castle afar, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. Nothing ever goes wrong with gambling, exactly. You can only get more money. When you've invested so much, it's only it's only true that you can go up. You know, if you've invested so much, you just have to keep going and you'll get more money. This is not legal advice. I, this is a joke. Please don't sue me. <laughs> Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Please? Alright, I've been hunting for a treasure, rumored to be stored here on the train. That, that, yeah. <laughs> Fair. Tell him what it is, Rouge. Alright, well, it's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Emmy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Emmy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me on the, in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduced that the Fabergé Shao egg is here, in this train car, locked in a safe. And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? Ooh, 23041. I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime! The train's blueprints? Please, Riz, let us see that! Uh-uh-uh! Finders keep us, sweetheart! There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé Chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. Bahas, we need to- we need a plan that- to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chow Egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Uh, her law card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Sinjigo, do you have an opinion on this? Stealing's for squares! <laughs> I think the only square here is you, Microwave Master. I must admit, that wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. No! My cool and mysterious reputation! It's crumbling! Alright, alright, I'm in, I'll help! Okay, let's get that Fabergé Chow Egg! <laughs> That's the ticket! Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Oh heck! This is the heist! Oh heck yeah! We're gonna need a team! Tails, he's the strength! Fail! Access to the Fabergé Chow Egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we attack the card, bribe the card, distract the guard? Distract them. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Sinjigo, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. I to shut up. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Think you could distract the guard, players? In my life, I've never met let a single person down. I won't falter. What's the distraction? Push a bunch of poker chips, pretend the claw machine is stuck, ask the chow about the partner and kids. Excellent, people love talking about themselves. This will easily distract the guard. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Sinjigo, what's your plan? Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. And just like that, we'll, we all make it in the elevator. Inside, we... Celebratory dance! Sing victory a cappella. Ah, oh, these two are good. Now that's a proper victory! Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arm sticking from the ceiling? I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Imagine you're not in pain. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone's ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready, let's begin. Alright, let's see what's up that elevator. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Enough chatter, now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here in these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé Chow Egg. <laughs> no question, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter in the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. It's here! Ha! <laughs> I have it! Alright, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here! 
Well done, kiddo. You can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret, because any who's anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. Oh, heck yeah. You can open the egg? You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should... All you need to do is twist it. Oh, heck, it's a bomb! <laughs> uh oh. Rouge, has no one left to tell the tale? T has no one left to tell the egg's secret? Because each egg is a bum? Oh! I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bum. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work? Rouge! I mean, fine, but what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with the bomb? Put it in this. Oh, heck. Oh, golly. Uh, rocket to sleep. Have Blizz set it on fire. Let Rouge kiss it. Stomp on it. Let Tails cool it down with his tails. Blub it upside down. Chaos control it away. Eat it. Take one for the team. Smash it. Open it. Tell it to stop. I feel like all of these could be it. I want to say throw and lock it in the safe was my original guess. Maybe twist it again. I'm going to save this for last. Toss it in the elevator. Twist it again. Let it finish taking. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? Sinjiga, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just... Espia did say something interesting when we cursed him about the trans manual. Damn. I thought she'll throw it in the safe would be it for sure. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as, a, as this Fabergé Chow egg, the arms would have detected it, and it wouldn't have allowed it on. The only the person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. Is it just a timer? Probably. Okay, we wait. Okay. The egg, it opened. It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Yeah, <laughs> and look what's inside. Ah, oh, damn. Wow, look at that sparkle, and it's so heavy too. The final secret of the Fabergé Chow Egg is a chow covered in gems. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call, let's go. Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I prefer to never do it again. Nah, Rouge. Uh, what, what, what is it, darling? About those blueprints, now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look. Well, I appreciate your assistance. It's, as I said, find us keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I miss any of the treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. Before you go, Shadow gave me an erasure of these he passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge, but we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Well, dear, come on, Sinjigo. Let's head out. <coughs> That trackman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Wanna play blackjack? I don't know how to play that. I don't know how to play either. Sinjigo is totally out of time for this, we must have been Sonic. Probably a good point. Alright, let's go. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it. Ooh. The lounge car. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors through the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't anymore. I can't. I'm not saying a thing. I'm the coolest. You'll have to tell me why. Now if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Sinjiga, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. Oh, there's got to be something in the bin. Tails! No. Tails! I, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Sanjiga, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you gonna get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Sanjiga? There's always something in the trash bin! Uh, alright, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Ha! 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 I'm the coolest! Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's head it to our inventory! Are you sure this isn't just trash? Ah, uh, I'll let you have this. There's always success if you, trash the, if you check the trash bin. Huh, this print is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? 
Yeah, the user inf interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. And here you go! Yup, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. Hmm. A keyring. Must be shadows. Oh, he's the locksmith! I forgot about that. He... he is, yeah. Interesting. There's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. Oh my god, what is this? I thought that was just... Huh? Tails, do you see this? A pearl string? Sinjiga! What? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened! There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. Oh. This is the library. It's a secret passage from the lounge to the library? I don't believe it. Shh! Quick, back through the pas passage before they spot us. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. We you've been lo locking every door in this train, and... And I know why. Huh? Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? I can't tell if they're supposed to be British or not. They're saying stuff like, pray tell. Like, I, I can't tell. It's It feels like they're supposed to be British, but I don't... I, I'm... I can't. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to con the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason, and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Huh? So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all, get out and leave me be. Well, my sauce can back up these claims. They'll remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My sauce claims they never saw Sonic, Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Recu reckless speculation. Does the logic sound though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Yeah, exactly. I think Sinjigo and I can explain the car change, however. Ugh. Sinjigo, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Oh, the hidden passage, this one. Okay, just got my thoughts in order. Think. Why shadow? Ah! Trying to act sus, because what the heck? There was a meteorite because he's a sussy little dude. Hmm. I'm the luckiest person to ever live. Oh, thank God! I really am the luckiest person to ever live. I'm epic. Sinjigo and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A uh, secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on his on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Huh? Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. A game theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. If Shadow travelled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, and how did that spion Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Sinjiga, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espion Vector didn't see Shadow because... Vector wasn't... I mean, both of these, yeah. Vector was with Knuckles. That's true, Vector was with Knuckles, and wouldn't have seen Shadow into the library car. See? Things are falling into place. But what about Espio? I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Ugh. Espio reading in the library checked out. That's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at w that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he wasn't there. He was not in the library car. Like I'd believe you. You're currently my number one suspect. Why were we even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? 
Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps Senjigo and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Senjigo, whatever in spots Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away. The keys, because he has... I always thought a locksmith would have more keys than this. That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. Think. Oh heck, I forgot about space. I just didn't even have my hand on the keyboard. Ah uh, heck. Think this is enough? Yes! There's only one reason. There's exactly two keys on that keyring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give to Espeon Vector. No way. Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Tch, interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? Oh. If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right. Her theory's strong. Tells and I cer certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow... Really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Sinchiga and I know exactly where Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I have just one question for you. Huh? Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Ugh. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Sinchiga? Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car, locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right. The conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted to... keep us away? Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Now that's Sanjigo. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Ugh. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Uh, oh, dear. Sinjigo, show me evidence. <laughs> oh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Oh, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows that what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? What's this again? It, we don't know. Awesome. That feels right. Phew, just organize my thoughts. Gotta be like it. Oh no. Not enough rings. Just don't lose any. Heck yeah. You went rooting through the trash. Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails, don't! <gasps> this is Hot Honey's website! No way, I love them! Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is. Ah, oh, my current favourite. All the members have B after their name? Yes, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time, and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, where was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Box. The situation's becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey's Band's ticket website exists because... Shadow was buying tickets. <laughs> he was a big Hot Honey fan. Ugh. What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? 
Ugh. I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Ugh, I'm the coolest. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. I used that printer earlier, and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the home page by accident? How the... I yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder... Spill everything, Shudder. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. Probably our fault. All our fault there. Ah, uh, sorry. That's all the detective's job is, I suppose. Hmm. <laughs> when I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift. Except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the home page. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you kept keep speaking of? The time you were able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. The locked room mystery, as it were. I blame my sauce for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter, down the drain! Amy, I'm curious. Who is the sauce for your, uh, big scoop? I'd like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your sauce is. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see, time to see this through to the end. I'm more than happy to have you both. Sinjigo, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation's finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture's becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. After this point in the game, I started to get really, really sick and tired of it. The repetitiveness of it, just the minigame in general was starting to drive me insane. And so from this point on, even in editing, I will not subject myself or any of you through that. So if you want to watch the uncut version of the conductor car, the link is in the description to the VOD, but I'm going to be giving a summary of what happened in the most basic terms to get it over with and then showing parts of the minigame because there's no way that I'm going to edit all of it. There's just so much. So Shadow Tails, Amy and Sinjigo go over to the conductor car and they find out the conductor isn't there. Whoa! So they do an investigation, you know, find evidence, there's a broken arm, there's a blow dart, and so they're like, okay, cool, we have, we have all, all the evidence we could ever need in the world. Amy gathers everyone by announcing them on the loudspeakers, and so everyone is there, except for Sonic. What? Huh? What could have happened to Sonic? So Amy and Vector go to find him, and everyone's like, woo, yay, we should do this again sometime, but then they come back, and Sonic is, is dead. He doesn't have a pulse, like the beginning of the game. That's crazy. Oh my god. And so then Sinji goes like, oh, damn. I, I, this could have been avoided, I'm a dumbass, oh heck, oh golly. And then it comes to point the finger, and you're just supposed to know by this point. Um, they do give a hint if you get it wrong, they say, who did Shadow not see? And so you point the finger at Espiel, it was Espiel, he murdered Sonic the Hedgehog, oh my goodness. And how did he do that if he was in the library car? They found a hidden passage, so he could have gone through the hidden passage. Oh my god. Uh, he then makes the argument, well, <laughs> I read the book flawlessly, so how could I have read the book if I also killed Sonic? And the answer is just that he read it. He, he, he read it fast. I'll admit, I'm not a Sonic fan. I don't, I've never played a Sonic game with SPO in it. I've never seen anything with SPO in it. But that is dumb as fuck. But he read it fast, and then that is, that's it. And everyone's like, whoa, how? But it's not explained, they're just like, yeah, he did it. So, yep. So Espio's like, well, how could I have known about the hidden passage? It's hidden, but Rouge's blueprints were found in the library car. So he had stolen them from the conductor somehow. That's not explained either, but he found it. And then he was like, well, there's a passage here. So then the question is asked, 
How could he have murdered Sonic? And I can't even think of how this would happen. So you present the blood out and then... whoop de doo There's a minigame. What the hell? I got debated. I heck you. Oh, I forgot again. I'm I ah, I'm a dumbass. Oh my god, thank goodness. And then shortly after that, there is another minigame for how he could have moved Sonic because he was found in the conductor car and then he was moved to the dining car and so you have to figure that out. How could he have moved Sonic? Whoa. And so you present the blueprints and do another minigame. Did anyone check Sonic's pulse? I think people have, but they're still unsure if he's dead or not because... Big brain, you know? What? I didn't catch it? What? Oh, heck. Uh, I uh, tried so hard. Big ooh. Let's give it another try. I pressed it. I pressed it. I pressed it. Ow, what? I think that one's bugged. It, it just isn't real, I don't think. What? This is BS, Sonic. Oh, you're a hacker. Not enough rings. Big oof. I swear that they're broken, right? I'm getting them, aren't I? I don't... Are they broken? How is it? No, I think I need the pecking ring things to do it, but they're, they're just not working. Oh, yes! I don't get it. Oh! I think maybe I'm walking onto the sides of the jump pads rather than the walking Nope, never mind, I don't I don't it's just broken I think. Oh thank god Awesome. After that minigame it is revealed that there are vents. There's vents and it's shown in the blueprints there's vents and so you could have gotten to the dining car through the vents and it's epic and there's vents and there's sussy sussy vents and it's awesome. And there's also revealed to be a track in those vents for the robot arms to go along. And then Espiel's like, well, how could I have moved Sonic? It's not like I could bring him through the vents. And so you have to do another minigame for that. And it's, um, spoilers, it's just revealed that he uses the robot arm. Because obviously, obviously he uses the robot arm. This one pisses me off. And you'll see why in a second. And I will explain in more detail after, after you see this. Phew, now to think about my argument. No! I don't wanna think. I don't like thinking anymore. I don't wanna think. 70 oh. I don't wanna think. I'm pressing it. Oh, I'm, oh, this is a rage game. Oh, you hacker! This is a rage game! Oh, yes! No! I was so close! The gods do not like us. Ugh. Alright, just by chance we didn't get that, because... Uh, 
Oh god. How are you supposed to win this? I think it's slightly broken. Because sometimes stuff just does not work. It doesn't collect. Like, it just doesn't- Oh my god. It's just this bit because it is completely- Oh, it's a chance! Alright, alright. Play it safe, play it safe. Oh, that- that is literally- it- it- That one hurts. That one hurts a lot. Oh! Okay, okay. Fucking finally! Jesus Christ! So yeah, that minigame just sucked. It was a buggy, glitchy mess, and it just was broken. It, it was broken. It was unfinished and broken and shit. I hate it. I hate the minigame aspect. More on that later, but I just despise it. But anyway, at this point, I just got sick of the game. I just literally could not have cared less. I just literally, I wanted it to be over. I assumed that was the final, the final minigame and I would just be able to get it over with, but... We still need a bit of, uh, we need, we still need uh, a nice little way to, to wrap this up. So after Sonic was shot, he was captured by one of the robot arms and brought to the dining car. I don't think Espio did it. I don't know, it's really unclear, but Espio did it. And then it's revealed Espio's the person who gave the false information about Shadow to Amy. Remember that when Amy had the hot scoop on why Shadow did it? That was Espio that did that. Then there's an epic Professor Layton vs Phoenix Wright moment where Sinjigo and Tails point and they're like, it was you, Espio, and it's awesome and I love that bit, but that is like the last good part and then the rest of this just sucks. Sam so revealed that Sonic's all fine and dandy, he gets up, Espio did it, woo woo. And when Sonic wakes up, he's like, whoa, hey guys, I had something to tell you. The train is a bad nick and it's being controlled by Dr. Eggman. I went I, I went to the conductor and he showed me the power source and it was a flicky, one of those little creatures that Tails' partner was, yada yada. And then the train is more like the conductor's friend. Sonic got in a fight because the train wanted the conductor. Uh, he, 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 the train the train got the conductor and had had him. And then Sonic broke off the robot arm, that's why there's a broken robot arm. And then he got grabbed and bam. It's also revealed by Espio that the blood out was given to him by the train with instructions to get Sonic and it's a non-lethal sleeping agent yada yada. That doesn't make sense though. It makes sense that Espio would want to use a non-lethal sleeping agent, but the train wants Sonic dead so why would it give a non-lethal sleeping agent? I don't care, the train's evil, woo, it speeds up like it did in the beginning and it puts you and Sonic in the dining car. Why? I don't fucking know, they just did it. So yeah, you and Sonic are in the dining car now. And then Eggman calls you, he's like, yo, yo what up? The train's gonna deliver you straight to me and it's it's and it's awesome. And then Sinjigo's like, oh heck, I, I, I could have I could have stopped this from happening if I was just like if I just worried about the person who was like dying in front of me. So he gets a bit depressed and then Sonic's like, hey, hey, <laughs> chili dogs, uh just stop being sad. Uh, now, you need to help me figure out a way to, to, to get out of this mess. And Sanji goes like, well, me and Tails uh, use the dumb, dumbest mechanic in this entire game. What would Sonic do? So we have to ask ourselves that now. And then Sonic's like, you know what, that's true. I am awesome and I would do so many cool things. And I will let the rest of this game speak for itself in how much I despise this minigame. Oh no! Alright, our friends are locked in the cards up ahead. In my last adventure, maxing my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to burst through the next door too. Ready? Let's do this. I would literally rather kill myself. I hate this. I want to die. Wait. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Chili dogs. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. I don't care. I don't care anymore. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Oh 
Oh, thank God. You all came for us. Of course, but let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner without a reward. Well, what is the end of this stupid train? Let's go. So much hate in my heart. I've never been so hateful before. This game has has done something to me. Uh, not enough rings. You didn't get enough rings. You didn't get enough rings. Oh, thank God. Sonic. It's about time, I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move, you two. Re you two ready? Always. Let's boogie. Thank God. Uh -huh. Ugh, they locked Jamie and Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more, let's go. <laughs> please, 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 please. I need this game to be over with. I never, I never want to see anything Sonic related in my life again. Please. Oh my God, I need a lot more. Not enough rings. Oh, thank God. Sonic! Sonic, you're here! <laughs> this is no way to cheat the birthday girl. Yeah, all right, I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I want to end myself. Alright, big man. Go, go, go. Excellent work trapping these pests. Now hurry to me. I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land and prob probably another death egg. Don't turn us into robots. Oh, ho, ho, I haven't done that in a while. Maybe I will turn you all into robots to give Sage some new toys to play with. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me, train. Hurry it up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown mammals. Yeah, that Eggman. I must get my wish. Huh? I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Oh, I'm going to literally. Uh, uh, uh. I'm this close, this close. I don't know what I'll do. I don't know what I'm this close to, but I'm so close to just, to just. I, I'm going to. I'm literally going to. Uh. Oh, I need a threat. I need a threat for this game. I need a threat. I need I need one. Desperately. I think this is the first game to actually get me this riled up. Like, oh, I, I, I hate it. I hate it so much. Just one last level. One last level and it's over. One last level, please. I have to actually concentrate. Otherwise, we'll be here for so much longer. Oh, just one last level, just one last level, just one last level. It's just one last level. Oh, just one last level, just one last level. Just one last level, just one last level. Just the final level. Final level and that's it. We're done. Please. Literally one more ring. Okay, don't die, don't die. Yes! None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our lives. How could he just leave me like it was nothing? What do you mean, the conductor? He's retiring, you just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. We're gonna put a, 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 a message at the end of this so that the kids can play and they'll have a good message and the, the kids won't be playing because they'll be raging. Shut up, shut, shut up. I... 
That's more. That's more. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Final level, final level, it's gotta be. Third time is the charm, right? Three hits, Sonic, Sonic again. Three hits, right? Right? Sonic, in, in Sonic you get three hits, right? I would guess. I'm, I'm guessing it's three hits and then the enemy's dead, right? So, this is it. Actually, uh, I just uh, three hits, three hits, three hits, and it's over. Three hits, and we're done. We're done. We're done. Conductor, you you promised me. You promised. Had him speak. Gonna hand him. Just try and stop this. When I told you we'd be with each other forever, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses. How dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely, so lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? No, stop. What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. Yeah, we have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. I'm... Yeah, yeah, we have to rescue. Wait, yes, yes, yes. We have to, we have to rescue the conductor so it's over, right? I'm... Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, I'm gonna cry. This game is too much. Such deep disdain for Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, please, please, th no! That's it, right? That's it, right? That's it, right? That's it! <laughs> A bricky! This is just this is just like the luck had when Mike's best friend left to tag the words between Hook Dragman. So this really is a bad nick. The stakes rise every second, huh? Let's uh, save him. On it. That shrapnel power. I'm. Okay, one last level. It's gotta be. It's gotta be the last one, right? It's gotta be the last one. It's gotta be the last one. It wouldn't make sense for me anymore, right? This isn't gonna be the last. This isn't gonna be the last thing that I gotta do. I just do this, and then, and then it's over, and then we stop the game, and then it's, it's over. We will never have to play this again, please, please. This has to be the end. It's never gonna end. <laughs> We're stuck here forever. Oh, I just want to leave. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. I love this game. I love this game so much. I, I love this game. I love it. I love. I love this game. Oh, it's my favorite game. I love. I love. It. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. So much. It's my favorite game. I love it ever so much. Please let me play the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog all day long. I love this game, Sega. This is such a funny April Fool's joke. Thank you, Sega, for this gift. Thank you, Sega. I'm going. Ah, oh, okay. Just one last level. It's gotta be the end, right? Just one last level. Just one last level and it's over. It's literally over right after this. I don't even know why I'm complaining, because this is the last thing that I have to do, and it's easy. So I don't know why I'm complaining, because it's it's over right after this. Please, please, please! <laughs> I actually can't anymore, please. I can't think cohesive thoughts anymore. All the flashing lights and noises. It's, it's like sensory overload. There's just... I can't think anymore. You lose five rings when you get hit. No! That's actually the worst one. That's the worst one by far. That is that is the worst thing that ever could have possibly happened in this entire game. This game is evil. I hate it so much. Yes! Finally! Finally! 
that was the last one, right? We don't have to do any more. Just, just be delivered to Eggman already. What about, what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me, selfish. How, how dare you? <sighs> 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 Kill someone after this is over. I'm gonna kill someone. It is my life mission to find the creators of this game and do terrible things to them. You have been playing this game for over three hours. Yeah, yeah, I have. Oh, I I want to do horrible things. I'm gonna commit war crimes after this. Okay, it's just one last level, so I don't even know. It's a hundred, so it has to be the last level, right? They wouldn't just make it a hundred rings and then the next one's a hundred and ten. That just doesn't make any sense. This has to be the last level. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I got two at the end! Oh, thank god! Oh my god, my heart was pounding. My heart was actually pounding. I got two at the end. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. No, 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 no! Oh, I'll grab the flicky. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. And that's it! That's the end of the game! It's over! Time to pay for ruining my birthday! I care so much about this game, I'm doing voice acting and I loved it so much. I'm putting so much effort into my voice for this. Oh, thank fuck. Oh my god. Now, was this a bad game? No, I don't think so. God, that took a lot of willpower to say, oh my god. Was I the target demographic of this game? No, absolutely not. But was it fun to play? No. In my personal opinion, I didn't really have a good time. It got really repetitive, and I do really, really like the casino to break things up. But after that, it's just the same shit. The minigame is so out of place, and broken, and messy, and unfinished. And it just doesn't feel nice to play. It's so boring and it actually just made me just just hate everything. I just wanted it to be over with so many times from the library car I remember, from, from Shadow's car, whichever that one was. I just started scrolling Twitter because I was just bored. I didn't like the game. It was too easy, there was never any actual deduction, and then the moments where it actually is tricky is the minigame because it's just a, I was so out of place and broken and bad, I hate it. Overall though, was it a bad game? I don't think that's for me to say really. I definitely didn't enjoy it, but I don't think that really matters in this equation because I don't really like Sonic. There were lots of references that I'm sure would be great if you were Sonic fans and there was really good humour. I also loved the sprites, they look amazing, the humour, absolute peak. But the gameplay mechanics were just so out of place and I did not enjoy playing this game at any point, I don't think. Except for the casino car, I'll admit that that was a lot of fun to do. But that's because it was breaking away from the entire point of the game. If the only part of a game that I like is the part where they stop focusing on the plot, stop using the gameplay mechanics and do something completely different, that probably means that the rest of the game just isn't very enjoyable, at least for me, in my opinion. I feel like I was slightly harsh with the game, but I still do not take back anything that I said about the minigame. It was so out of place, badly designed, and just terrible to play. It felt so clunky and just broken. It was so unpleasant. I did not enjoy it. I've been editing this video for about a month, and this was the only way that I could finish it without completely scrapping the entire thing. So I hope that it didn't turn out completely terrible. And um that that's that's gonna be it for real this time. Bye. <laughs> you know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say I always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note.